Hi, my name is Parag Paul and welcome back in my new video. In this particular lecture, we will discuss the analysis of double story portal frame, including the slab. Okay, because it is very important to know what is the behavior of slab. Okay, under the due to the heights. Okay, so first of all, click on a new model. Click over here, check all the standards and click OK. Okay, now it is very important to provide a grid line. So how you can provide a grid line for a two story portal frame. So here you can see in X direction, I want two column in Y direction. Also, I want the two column. Okay. In spacing between the X column, uh, like in X direction is six meter. I am giving in Y direction. I am giving the spacing as the, uh, let's say uh, 6.3 meter. Okay. And the height number of stories we will, we want two and the height is 3 meter okay and click ok so as you can see as we provided the grid data with respect to that we will get the building data over here okay and we need to do all the regular uh, practices for this portal frame okay just wait for a minute okay take a time you can see this particular pattern okay properly now so this is pattern we have now right uh, as of now Right. So first of all, go to the project, check the design preferences, go to the structural layout. Okay. Click on a story. Yes, story one and story two we have. Click on a properties, go to the material, right click and add new. Then select the Indian, select the concrete, Indian M30 concrete we are going to provide. Click OK. And everything is all right. Click OK. After that, go to the frame section, click over here, right click, add new frame property. Select over here, give the column dimension, okay, as 230 by 300, okay. Select the material as M20 grade of concrete, okay. The depth, okay, the depth direction is 300, okay, and width I'm giving as a 230, okay, and click on OK. After that, again add the beam section, what you have, select over here. Then go to the tight beam, okay, 300 by 300 or 300 by 2, uh, okay, 300 by 300, make it as, a, as it is, no issue, okay, click okay, but for the data over here also, okay, right, now after that, click okay, now go to the slab section, right click, add the slab, okay, uh, here, I, th I think uh, I missed the data of the uh, material. So here you can see select material and OK. After that, go to the slab section, right click, add new slab section. OK, the slab, slab of 120 mm thick, right? Select the material as M30 and the slab over here, right? 120 mm. Okay, click on OK. Now after that, you can see you need to assign all this property. Select this particular beam over here first. Go over here and select the column first, right? So as you can see, I selected the column. After that, as you selected the column, go over and assign over here. So first you need to select this. Okay, again select the column. Okay, and after that assign to the column. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, and eight. So we have this four column with us, right? Now assign the beam, select the beam and assign, right? But you remember the thing properly. Okay, now, yes. Okay, now you can check in 3D model whether it is done or not. Okay, so now after that, again, click over here. Okay, now assign the slab section. So go or just, just, uh, just close it. Okay, you can see as we assign the column property, you can see the column over here. Okay, you can see the column over here. After that, what you have to do is just go to the here, quick draw of wall and floor. Okay, select the slab, what you have selected over here. And after that, just click, right? Just wait a minute, just click here and click here. So you can see, Okay, if you close it, you can see the slab properly, right? So slab is created over here, right? Understand? So now we have all the slab 
okay we have slab and we have the beam also after that what we have to do after that what we have to do we have to just select the beam at the cross section right so what we have to do is select this one okay now it is very it is not possible to select like this so just go in a plan view or you can just go to the uh, just go to the elevation view okay in elevation b direction apply okay right after that select in the bottom direction like press control and select okay press control and select after that assign joint restrain and fix support apply okay so you can see the fix support is assigned properly right now after that as the fix support assigned you will go for the load combinations so what we how we can provide the loads first we will select the beam so for that just click this pattern okay one two just wait a minute two three four five six seven okay and eight after that go to the sign uh, and go to the sign the frame load distributed one and it is we are providing uh, 25 kilonewton click on apply okay after that select the slab go to the assign okay shale load uniform load okay and add over here as the three kilonewton okay apply okay you can see the three is written it means it's assigned right bottom i did also three is assigned now go to the analyze okay sorry just click over here okay so it will perform the analysis okay so as the analysis perform we will get to know the different uh, values for our uh, overall uh, model so you can see the model is uh, deflect like this understand so let's see the bending moment over here first okay show the value apply okay so you can see the bending moment okay so here you can see the 43.706 bending moment 51.8855 bending moment okay 51 43 37 44 okay this kind of bending moment we have now what is the use of this bending moment and shear force look whenever we are going to analyze after analyzation we get to know that the bending is very huge okay so how we can nullify this bending moment for that we need lots of checks okay we need proper reinforcement because at the bottom okay you can see at the bottom there is a tension member and at the top we need to provide the compression member okay so at the tension member we need to provide the maximum amount of steel the strong steel we can call and the top we need to carry the anchor steel but it should be a that cap that capable to carry over the bending load okay so now here whenever this kind of the bending moment we occur so at that time we need to select this bending moment and accordingly we need to identify that how much amount of the est is required for this overall or uh, structure or first you need to calculate manually that how much amount of these what is the exact size because we just consider one one section okay so you can just lock one depth or width okay and use our basic formula what we are going to discuss in the next video okay which i'll give it tomorrow itself so in that particular video what i'll teach you that how to lock one single po single portion and how to identify the another or a value with respect to the bending moment right with respect to the loading pattern that we will assign and let's see how much amount of the bending moment we will get so during the design these things are very important to know what kind of the parameter we are getting right now let's check the shear forces in this uh, pattern just click share okay show the value and click apply okay so you can see the shear forces at the top is very less but at the side the shear forces we have okay so shear forces here 11 minus 11 minus 31 31 11 so it is not a very huge but all these are in kilonewton so it is very huge for us okay as one date so the no worries about all these things just try it practically try for the two story four story six story portal frame so it will be give a good idea of the scenario like how the uh, building model reflect us a good uh, platform how they reflect the bending moment okay so as i can see here the 3d uh, the bending moment also you can see like this okay so we are also getting the bending moment over here 
right so you practice for a 3 to 4 story build uh, four story grid pattern try to create a building model with respect to the grid line so it will give us some idea how to create a grid pattern how to use a grid pattern properly okay have a nice day bye bye